before we go to the Clockwork Tower, which will make me cry, we're gonna check out that Cave of Oblivion so I don't forget it this time. I'm pretty sure I forgot to go to the cave last cycle. Um, we're going to say before we jump in, the Cave of Oblivion is one of the most random things in Valkyrie Profile. You will get a Cave of Oblivion in every chapter, and it can be visited once. And you can have enemies from much later in the game than you are, or it can have very weak enemies. And you can have a variety of items. Let's see if Oblivion will take us. We're a little bit stronger, so the number, the, the kind of enemies we can fight is much greater than it was last time when we tried to go in in Chapter 1. To my side, my noble Ein Father, mother, Gelatinous Ooze. That is not a s promising opening. I believe they're weak to magic, but I do want to heal. So let me do a round of combat. Hmm. All right, so that's faint. Um, we'll we'll heal. We'll heal and see how this goes. So our physical damage was doing pretty good. Pathetic. Pathetic. Now die! Man, all right. All right, these guys aren't too too late game. We're kind of we're kind of fucking their shit up. Oh, I should have left it with the faint. It's gonna be able to attack. Pathetic. Pathetic. Um, let's try and finish this one off. Good stuff, good stuff. Cashel, can you finish off the other one? Go for the double kill? Damn. No double kill. We had to call in some support from the Valkyrie. Aw, oh, come on! What kind of guard is that? Arngrim gets spat on, and it does not look like he likes that at all. You would think Gots is okay with some extreme stuff, but uh, no, maybe maybe he just wants to cozy, cozy up and snuggle. You know, no problem with that. Sometimes you just want to be held. And that's why we have a mermaid on the team for that fishy snuggling. All right, Cashel is not very good for our combo cycle. He's kind of, uh, he's a little bit all over the place. Oh. Gonna go ahead and take a quick snooze? That is no problem, Snakes with Tapes. I appreciate you stopping on by. I hope you have a good eat. Get to thee hence. Oblivion awaits thee. All right, all right. That's not some bad XP. That's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Um, let's see, there was an enemy up here I was trying to get to. Um, oh, it looks like it's gonna come to us. Alright. I was about to launch myself across, but I'd rather not, uh, bump side, into it. Hey, Alright, we got some fire elementals. I see. Um, how yeah. much can we fuck them up? Not very. Um, this is a problem. Uh, let's go for an Icicle Edge and see if that wipes them. Uh, they have a lot of HP still. Um. Yikes! Okay, that's gonna be a party wipe. And this is why you save before going into the Cave of Oblivion. Let's, uh, let's run that back. 
do a bit of a loading. All right, notes to self, spooky spirit, too strong to deal with. We can fight some of the enemies, but we need to run away from others, and those fire elementals are too late game for us to handle. What I can do is I could have tried to freeze that skull so I can go across. Oh, thank you for the head pass. To my side, my noble Einherjar. Hey, this doesn't look good. Oh, it'll be fine, oh. Cashel. Stop being such a worry wart. Ooh, I wonder what item the slime dropped. And none of those charge crystals got to you, May. Fantastic. Well, that's kind of frustrating. Well, at least the first one is faint. Yeah, nothing like cutting down our enemies to one at a time. All right, you may should be charged back up and ready for icing the enemies. Good stuff. And then let's do the same to this guy. Arnhem just does a back swipe. I. That is the problem with counterattacks. If it's a multi attack, you can just run right into it. Casual, chill out, my dude. You're in service to the Valkyrie, all right? You know, have a bit of, you know, seriousness. All right, let's uh, rezone. I need to freeze. Aha, I got it. All right, what do we got over here? To my side, my noble Einherjar. Oh no! Hey, All right, so if we don't kill that fatal glimmer, we die. So that's gotta be our first target. All right, so I think if we use all of our limit breaks, we should be able to take that out before it can kill us. Nice. All right. Uh, that Dragon Tooth Warrior still going to hurt, but I believe they can only kill one character at a time, compared to the Fatal Glimmer, which can fucking Voltorb our asses and roll up to the party and explode. Is that all you got? That was actually pretty good. We might be able to actually kill the Dragon Tooth Warrior as well. What? Not dead yet? It shall be engraved upon your soul. Divine assault. Hit him with that Nabelung Velesti. That's my girl. I love the animation of that. What's even better is there is another tier, but it is going to be a while before I get a weapon that unlocks it. Finishing strike. Final blast. <laughs> Dead already? <laughs> Fucking Arngrim is so cocky. You all fought so bravely. Breastplate. Nice. I think that's an upgrade on equipment. Oh, 
know. Oh, just a little bit. You know, just plus 200 defense. That's, that's fine. Actually, did I ever give Arngrim... No, I didn't. Oh, he can't equip it, can he? He can't equip the Heraldic Guard, so I wasted a bunch of money making that. Noted. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I think it's something only Valkyrie can wear. That's great. Good job, Brecky. Alright. Um, Spooky Ghost, probably too high level, so we're gonna freeze that and get by. This normal combat, however, we will take that on. To my side, my noble Ein Yeah, it's just another round of ooze. We'll use this to heal back up. And then one of those games where you don't have MP, but you can't use spells outside of combat. Now die! Good block, good block. Good block. You love to see it. Alright, we're gonna take out one of these oozes. And Yume should be charged back up. So we should be able to one cycle this next one with a. Uh oh, Valkyrie is now. fainted. Mmm, we kinda need her for her combo builder. Yep, that did not work out so well. Alright, Valkyrie is back in action. Let us try this again. Yeah, Cashel's first attack swings so low. He's like, goes for their ankles. So if they are just like a pixel off of the ground, he bloody well whiffs it. You all fought so bravely. Fox Glove and Iron Ore. Nice, nice. Alright, let's so avoid combat with that spooky ghost. Um. Kinda wondering if we should maybe switch up the order of Cashel's abilities. Like, Arngrim. Like, the Grand Sting is good, but it is only one attack. I don't really have any other good multi hits. Yeah, because the Bastard Sword will break. Chance of breaking. Flare Baselar breaking, breaking. Like, I just. I don't like using my weapons that can break. I just don't. I don't want to use them. I don't want them to break. Alright. We got a split second freeze. Oh, this is a dead end. All right, we're gonna have to make our way back through the spooky ghosts. All right, that's one. There's the second one. All right, there's gonna be one over here. Freeze that, run on by. Let's go deeper into the caves. Oh, no, 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 no! I saw a path up there that we missed. No, no! Oh, did I fuck that up entirely? Oh no, I might have fucked that up entirely. I need to get to the right side so we can do some platforming. Dang it! Dang it! Okay, hold on. Climb up. Come on, let me climb!
I'm starting to lag the game by making too many crystals. <laughs> All right. Not what I meant to do. Come on, game. Let me up. I want uppies. So what I want is to jump on this crystal dust. I jumped too far out. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Just needs a little bit of finesse. Come on, come on, buddy. Let me up, let me up. Mm, we can do it, we can do it. Come on. Ah. Ah, I think, uh, I think we're gonna have to just write this one off. Unless. Drekki, you mad genius. Drekki, you mad genius. Let's go! No! Fuck! Shit! No, 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 no! Alright. I got too greedy and tried to keep going up. Alright, so we can do this. I think we can at least get back to that left, um... Left exit to that other room. This would be really awkward if all that leads us to is, like, a really strong enemy. So, what do we have over here? Oh, we got some treasure chests. Ebony powder. Nice. Iron ore. Also nice. Kinda creepy, all these weird... eggs and... things going on in the background. Half-hatched morphs of stone and flesh. Fusing, molding, coming apart. It's uh, certainly an atmosphere. Oh. Okay. Now that I'm not being a potato and I remember I can use the um, floating dust, trying to get back. Oh, there we go. I believed in it. I knew we could do it. No! No! Okay, dude. Sometimes the platforming is a little bit persnickety, as one might say, if you perhaps uh, press jump a little too late when trying to press the side button. Alright, so we need to get on this. Oh! We made it! Chat, we made it. All right, what do we have over here? Do we have more chests? Do we have more combat? Do we have fucking nothing? No shot. No shot. There's no way there's nothing here. All of that for nothing? The ultimate debate. Okay, let's uh, let's get our way out of the caves of Bolivian. All right, we got a got a bit of experience, got a couple items, not too bad for a free dungeon. Now that's left, 
is clockwork. Clockwork Mansion. We are going to save before we go in here. Um, and let me... I actually may want to make use of my notes on this dungeon. So I think there is a certain puzzle... Nope, oh, that is next chapter. Um, Neo Village. Nope, nope, nope. That's what it is. All right. Buddy. Ooh, we got ourselves a new enemy. This doesn't look good. Necrophidious. Some kind of dragon crab skeleton? Hell yeah. Now this is some enemy design, baby. Alright, that guy got fucked up. But how about second crab? Ooh, he tried to dodge attack Keshel and got himself schwacked by the Grand Sting instead. The Clockwork Mansion looks pretty cool, though. I will give it that. Got that nice, like, wood paneling, you know, very, uh, uh, not steampunk, but sort of that fusion of mechanical and, you know, wood, woodsy kind of stuff. Give me your charge orbs. Now die. Damn, Cashel. Chill out, my dude. He's already so much dead. Now die. Ha. Ha. Bridget, damsel. And then I guess uh, we just finish it off. Ooh, what item did they juggle out? Items that drop are like per enemy, so it's not like there's a loot table to be worried about. But if you want a specific item, you do have to basically hunt down a specific enemy. We have another bastard sword. Nice. Ah! Foreground enemy strikes again. Yeah, looks like the Necrophidius got the jump on us this time. Fuck it. You know what? I should have tried to attack without worrying about... Oh. Now that's a one-two combo. He gets you with the crab hand and then casts lightning bolt on you. Good stuff, good stuff. That was too easy. What's next? Too easy. Oh, now, now we're drowning in Bastard Swords. You know, I think we could try and sell stuff so we can get that Holy Rod just to see what, um... 
its effect is for the casters, because it looked like it was similar to our other unit. All right, so this is the puzzle. The world is going all sorts of weird ways. All right, that's not the puzzle, but it is giving us a taste of what the puzzle is going to be. I got you this time, forward round enemy. Got some more of these quab guys. Oops. I guess I didn't need to use Arngrim there. He dodged my attack! Man, they just like beating up on Arngrim. So rude. Alright. Making sure you may can cast next turn. We'll go for a heal. And then fuck this guy's uh, day up. You missed. God, you're too slow. Hmm, those numbers are starting to get pretty darn big. But we're not at the five digits quite yet. Guard crush, baby! Try and block me? I think not! Aww, over already? I still wanted to fight! <laughs> Saddle down, Cashel. They're already dead. No need to keep on killing them. Don't worry about it, Cashel. We have the mermaid on our team. Iron Grim, you missed. You missed. Oh, we got him with the counter attack. That's acceptable. We'll take that. We take those. Ah, oh, no items juggled out of him this time. You all fought so bravely. Oh, I guess we did get an item. I just didn't see it. Noted. Foolish ones take the scroll. If you cannot proceed even with the scroll, then you truly are fools. Right, so um, the way this works is every time we go through a room, things are going to rotate. So we have to go through them in a specific order. I literally just messed it up. So let's uh, go ahead and reset. Uh, Drecky, you can reset, right? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go in again. All right. So the thing is, this water keeps us from jumping over here. So it's a little frustrating. Do we need to go up? Up. Right. Down, up, down, down, up, up, right, no, 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 Right. 
can see the, the room turn sideways. We got the ladder's gone a little bit silly. We go down, up, down. I think this is it. I think we just keep going down. Yep, I think we got through the clockwork room. Hell yeah! Thankfully I remembered I made notes on that section, because if you don't know the path, uh, it can take a while to untangle how all the runes interact and try to route the path without, um... Like, routing the path as, like, everything's rotating and you're moving through things. You have, it's kind of like chess. You gotta plan a lot of moves ahead for victory. It can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So it's a puzzle that you, you really don't want to have to brute force. Yeah, well, f you. <laughs> Take my parakeet. Double crunch me. You're too slow. Oh, I guess we're gonna knock loose another bastard. Man, these guys, these guys are just shoved full of bastard swords. I don't know where they're carrying them. Maybe they put it in their pocket, you know, ever since they got their crab arm. You know, they kind of decided, eh, I don't really need to carry a sword anymore. I got this giant crab arm to smash people with. And now we have a bad doggy to fight. We've got a Chimera. This foul creature is the ultimate creation of the master of this place, eh? His final legacy. There is no hope for him. Ed Word. <laughs> Wow, rude. Hitting us with a bad breath out the gate. Man, it is laying the status effects on hard. Um, I think we might need to use some potions or our healer is about to die. Uh, I think she should break out of freeze next round. I'm not gonna bother with a antidote, also because I forgot to buy antidotes. All right, now let's fuck this doggy's day up. I hope that wasn't too strong. I'll take care of this. Yep. Thanks to the power of limit breaks, this dog's days are numbered. Alright, feeling good. It shall be engraved upon your soul. Divine assault. And for good measure for causing status effects, we'll uh, we'll go for the four combo overkill. Hey, we got them hits up to forty-two, baby. Dead already. Aw, over already? I still wanted to fight. Ooh, that's a nice chunk of XP.
Let's see what divine treasures are in this place. Mirage robe, not bad. That's okay. It's a good, uh, good little caster armor. Uh, and I think, uh, I think we're gonna hold on to it. This one, the Mirror of Polites, I believe is very important. We really don't want to send that one up. Let me double check that mirror. See the Mirage Robe. Oh yeah, that is some good defense for our caster. Mirror to the power of the witches during the Polites War. 50% chance of reflecting and doubling spells damage back upon the caster. I see. That's our counter spell. Very nice. Alright, now we just need to get out of this place. Let's go ahead and save, just in case. Alright, I don't believe we'll have to go backwards through the puzzle. Yeah! Yeah, it's gonna teleport us all the way to the start. Heck yes. Alright! I was expecting a lot more trouble from the Clockwork Mansion. But, uh, thankfully I already had, uh, some notes to help us on the puzzle solution. Other than that puzzle, it's a pretty small dungeon. Um, we're kind of pretty well leveled. I don't think there's any reason for us to go hunt for the rest of the enemies. I think we'll go ahead and call it quits. Okay, and let's also, so we have the time. We got Cashel Sword from Camille Village. Let's see if we have anything from, I already sent her up. Well, let's hope that there was nothing for uh, uh, Naime in her, her village. I'm pretty sure there was, however. But I think if we go all the way to the right, it gets to their family with the that dragon sword. We went to the beach for uh, Yume. Oh, we still get it. Honored parents, please accept this. Ooh. We got the Dragon Bane. That would have been useful earlier. I think the Dragon Bane is a short sword. No? Where is it? Check use item. Where is Dragon Bane? Oh, it is. It, oh, it's a it's a samurai sword. We don't have another one of those unit. Short sword forged by an ally of the gods. It's weak in destructive power, but improves the magic ability. Wait, is this? <laughs> we can give our caster a sword. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. Oh man, Yume is ready to fuck someone up. This mermaid is getting all the good stuff. Although that's going to be temporary, because I know next chapter we're going to have a few other sorcerers. And... Uh, we'll need to swap them in and around. Let me go ahead and make a save pre-ending, uh, just in case I need to come back to this. 
I think we are still on track pretty well. key thing is going to be doing all of the events that nuke our evaluation at just the right time. I'm wondering if I may need to reserve some dungeons just so I can get it low enough. Because sending up two Ein Harriar every time does give us does defray it a lot because we're only losing five evaluation per treasure we keep so it's usually about 10 or 15 per dungeon but we're getting like plus 25 or 24 for sending Dian Harriar up hmm. I'll need to keep that in mind going into these next couple chapters because chapter 4, 5, and 6 are going to be very very important Let's go ahead and rest on through and see how we did. Let's see how Odin thinks of our progress. It has been a long time, Lenneth. Yeah, it just feels like it's been like a month. Crazy the how time flies. Situation is as follow yeah, yeah, the Asgard war status. Plus three, minus three. This is really doesn't matter. Our current situation is we are firmly in control. We are Do in control. Status of our so let's check in on our two characters that we sent up freshly. So you let's see, Nanami. All right, evaluation of abilities. Looks like she's she's doing pretty darn good. We're only seeing positives adding to her rank. Disabled the trap, discovered a mysterious spring, major role in a ferocious attack. All right, all right. Do you wish to know the status of our unharried? Let's see if June did just as good. Hmm, still all positives, but his skills are not as great as hers. And you can see the effects of not maxing out the requested skills. You know, he's sitting here with plus one, whereas she had like plus five. Do you wish to know the status of our unhairy? I'm kind of surprised we didn't see any negative events because neither of our characters were archers. Lenneth, about your performance. It is magnificent. Now let's see what items were given. These are all the materialized points I can grant you at this time. Yeah, almost 10,000 points. Looking good. The Lord Odin is pleased with you. He bids me give you these artifacts. Okay, okay. Darkness arrow, very good. Auto item, also great. Uh, we have a second Holy Grail, so that is also going to pay dividends. Um... I think Darkness Arrow is the archer's ability I'm thinking of that is really useful in certain situations. Lenneth, I have a request to make of Let's you. see what we need to send up next send time. Emissary to those troublesome light elves. Oh, those light elves. Oh, they think they're so fantastic. Up in their trees being hoity-toity. <laughs> Can you send an Einherjar who is as skilled at negotiating as they are? We need a warrior skilled in battle. We need an Einherjar wise in the lore of de We need an Einherjar who can gather intelligence. So, negotiator trick, demon intelligence, hear noise. I think this is the first time we have a class non-specific request. We can really send up most everyone, because three of these are skills we can level. One of them is, uh, and I actually forgot to do that for the characters we sent up. There are some items we can get and give them that it doesn't say they do anything, but they basically count as one of these skills kind of thing. Very well. Good fortune. I, I think it's going to be do. Angel Lips for Negotiator. That is the beginning of chapter four.
We are almost at the halfway mark to the end of the world.